The DAR Closed Suction System is a versatile and easy-to-use system for oral and endotracheal tube suctioning. The DAR Closed Suction catheter features a twist-open suction control valve with ISO color coding for immediate catheter size recognition, a clear and resistant protective sleeve, an atraumatic dual-density suction catheter, a rinsing chamber, a rinsing port with one-way valve, an MDI port, and a rotating patient access valve. When getting ready to use DAR closed suction catheters, we recommend that you wear protective gloves to avoid any risk of cross-contamination. Choose the size of the system relative to the endotracheal or tracheostomy tube in place. Label the system on the connector or on the suction valve as a reminder of the replacement time frame. When using the product for the first time, it is important to set the vacuum level between 80 and 120 millimeters of mercury for adult patients. For pediatric patients, set the vacuum between 60 to 80 millimeters of mercury. Twist open the suction control valve with a 90 degree rotation. It will make a clicking sound, and you should now see that the arrow is in line with the catheter. Then press down and release. Make sure the patient access valve is in the closed position. This enables the complete isolation of the sleeved suction catheter from the patient's airways when suctioning is not required, maintaining ventilation pressures. Before the suctioning procedure, pre-oxygenation may be recommended for some patient groups with the exception of neonates. According to AARC practice guidelines, a delivery of 100% oxygen in pediatric and adult patients for 30 to 60 seconds before suctioning is suggested. You can connect DAR closed suction catheters to a tracheostomy or endotracheal tube and directly into the breathing circuit or DAR electrostatic filter HME. If needed, interpose a catheter mount between the circuit and double swivel elbow. The double swivel patient connector is designed for patient comfort and reduced risk of torque. The meter dose inhaler port on the double swivel patient connector allows effective and quick drug delivery through a meter dose inhaler. First, remove the cap from the MDI port and connect the can tip. During insertion, exercise a moderate amount of pressure in order not to activate the spray and waste the drug. Then, press the canister during the inspiratory phase. If necessary, repeat the delivery, making sure to always synchronize with the patient inspiration. Lastly, remove the canister and recap the port. To perform suctioning, open the patient access valve with a counterclockwise rotation. Gently insert the DAR closed suction catheter in the endotracheal or tracheostomy tube. The soft tip and the firmer proximal end of the catheter allow an easy insertion and manipulation through the sleeved catheter. Depth markings in centimeters help achieve correct placement. We recommend that each suction event lasts no longer than 10 to 15 seconds. Allow 20 to 30 seconds for the patient to rest between suction passes. Apply vacuum during the inspiratory phase by pressing the suction valve intermittently while withdrawing the suction catheter until the black marking is clearly visible. To isolate the system or clean the suction catheter, rotate the patient access valve clockwise. Vital parameters are not altered when suctioning with the DAR closed suction system. We recommend cleaning the suction catheter after every use. This can be done using saline vials or with a syringe half filled with saline solution. Make certain the patient access valve is closed. Connect the vial or syringe to the rinsing port and apply vacuum to inject the solution into the system. The unique design of the rinsing chamber enables very effective catheter tip cleaning for full removal of residual secretions, which might have accumulated in the system. Since the closed patient access valve completely isolates the closed suction catheter, Rinsing can last as long as required to clear the material. Once rinsing is complete, twist the suction valve closed. 
making sure the arrow is positioned at 90 degrees to the suctioning flow direction. The suction valve is now locked in the closed position and the vacuum cannot be activated. The DAR closed suction system with replaceable catheter allows bronchoscopy or mucus sampling to be performed in a closed circuit. The DAR closed suction package includes two sterile caps to protect the suction catheter and the patient valve during this procedure. Simply disconnect the suction catheter from the patient access valve when in the closed position. Use the larger sterile cap to cover the disconnected portion of the closed suction catheter. Then place the smaller self-sealing cap on the patient access valve. This self-sealing cap allows the passage of a 6 mm bronchoscope. Turn the patient access valve to the open position and introduce the bronchoscope through the self-sealing cap. This allows direct passage through the patient access valve into the endotracheal tube or tracheostomy tube and directly to the lungs. When withdrawing the bronchoscope, hold the cap in place to avoid disconnection and to ensure a perfect seal. Turn the access valve to the closed position to completely isolate the system. It is now possible to disconnect and dispose of the protective caps safely. A slide locking mechanism allows reconnection of the suction catheter to the patient access valve, ensuring a completely closed system. The DAR closed suction system with replaceable catheter offers isolation of the patient's airways with its rotating patient access valve, and the possibility of performing bronchoscopy in a closed circuit. Safety for both patients and hospital staff, resulting in a cost-effective step forward in the prevention of nosocomial infections, a strategy recommended by the American Association for Respiratory Care to prevent nosocomial infections. <music>